Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 8, Week 4, Round 1. My name is Boma Fett. I'm currently 8 and 1 and on my way to Kyber. Hopefully I can get there. I have never not made Kyber. Never not made. That's a double negative. I have always made Kyber. Every time. So hopefully I can do it again this time. Let's take a look at who my opponent is. Rude Jaywalker. Let's take a look at the Hotbot for a quick comparison. Here's the Hotbot comparison between myself and Rude Jaywalker. Everything on the green are areas where I have higher stats. Everything in the red is where Jaywalker has higher stats. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Okay, this top area is all about GAC stats. You can see that I have more lifetime banners, more offensive wins, undersized wins, clears, and defends. Uh, but Jaywalker's right there. Not much behind me except undersized wins. Jaywalker does not like to go undersized. That's not a very big deal in this GAC because in 3v3 you really don't undersize very often. One thing that does stand out I've got about a 3 to 1 ratio between my offensive wins and defends, and Jay Walker has about a 6 to 1 ratio. That tells me that he does not set a really tough defense. He tends to save more for offense. Okay, the next section is about our rosters. You can see that I have a slightly higher overall GP and also slightly higher top 80 and top 65 GP. I do have 12 more Zetas, 68 to 56. In average speed added to the top of our roster, we are very close as far as average. But again, remember these are averages. It's possible for someone to put a lot of speed on one particular character or a few characters and get them super fast, while the rest of the speeds are not quite as fast. I do have the advantage in gear 13s, 11 to nine. In gear 12s, Jay Walker has 28 to my 10, so almost 3 to 1 there. But I have a lot more gear 11. In gear 11 and above, Jay Walker is at 52, and I am at 66. The next section is about mods. You can see I have a few more 6 dot mods, and I do have more mods with high speed secondaries, but it's not a huge advantage. As far as relics go, I may have a couple more relic characters, but our total relic levels are the same, 46 to 46, and that's because Jay Walker has a few tier seven characters. I do not have any. My highest relics are relic five. Okay, let's go back to the game and take a look at Jay Walker's roster. You can see that Jay Walker uses Padme in the arena and Thrawn in the fleet arena. Here are all the Relic characters. Not only is it Padme and her squad, we've got Grievous and a couple of his droids. We've got Ventress and we've got CLS. Let's take a look at a few factions. Bounty Hunters are solid, including some Zetas that you don't necessarily normally see. Clone Troopers are not all the way geared, but geared enough to use. Droids, we have the scary relic Grievous and his crew. Empire. Ewoks. First order, Kylo Ren is only gear 9. Hux hasn't really been worked on yet. Galactic Republic, we have the Padme squad. We do have Shock T at gear 12 with both Zetas, so she'll be leading some troopers, I'm sure. Geos look good. Jawas might actually be usable. In Jedi, our typical Revan squad is only gear 12. Night Sisters look good, although Spirit's a little undergeared. Old Republic, his mission and Zalbar are a little bit undergeared. Phoenix is, uh. 
Rebels. Resistance. Jedi training Ray is only gear 9 and doesn't have any Zetas. Resistance heroes have not been worked on. Separatist. Newt does not have the Zeta. Dooku does not have the Zeta. Jango Fett's only gear 9. Sith. We do not have Malak. Darth Treya is only gear 8. Darth Revan is only gear 9. Nest is gear 11, but no Zeta. And no Wampa. Let's take a look at my defense. So I've set pretty much the same defense that I've been setting the last few rounds. I've got this Bosk team with Grief, even though he's only three stars and gear eight. This has gotten me some holds. I've got this timeout squad, which actually has not gotten me any timeouts this GAC. It was really effective last time, but this time uh, people just know what to do with it. Um, and offenses are a lot better this time than they used to be. People are able to get through that squad. However, in looking at GAC history, they are having to use pretty good squads to take this out. So in that sense, it's doing its job. We've got Grievous and a couple of droids. In this bottom zone, we have Newt, Django, and Sunfak. We've got a basic Night Sister squad, and we've got Vader with Malak, and really this is all about Malak. In the back, I've got Boba Fett, Greedo, and Cad. I've got a Hux First Order team. I've got Phoenix. And I've got Karth Mission and Zalbar. So not a great back zone, but if he uses a lot of stuff in the front, then I may get some holds back here in the back. Okay, we are 4 hours and 20 minutes away from the attack phase. I will come back then and we will see what defense Jaywalker sets. Okay, so according to GAC history, Jaywalker keeps his Padme and his Grievous Relic squads for offense. So let's see if that's true. Up north here, we've got a Night Sister squad with Asajj lead, Daka, and Talia. We've got Boba Fett, IG-88 with the Zeta, and Zam Wessel. And we've got Dooku, Newt, and who is this? Soldier. Okay. I thought maybe it would be a tank there, Sunfact, but it's not. Okay, uh, Dooku's lead is tricky, but I think Newt's lead is actually better, but neither has a Zeta, so... Alright, let's check the other territory. We've got another Night Sister squad, this one with Initiate with a Zeta. I didn't even know Initiate has a Zeta. What does Initiate Zeta do? Is it on the Unique or the Special? I don't know, let's see. If Night Sister initiate his full health, 100% counter chance, 100% offense. Or is it here? Inflict buff immunity for two turns. I bet that's it, the buff immunity. Hmm, okay. We've got Jedi Knight Revan with Snips, who's Relic 5 and 3PO. That's interesting. Okay. I'm guessing that Grandmaster Yoda is going to be with Bastila, maybe? Okay, and then here we've got Poggle with B2 and Droidica. All right, so none of this looks too scary. I do need to open up the back to make sure that he hasn't hid Padme or General Grievous back there but that would be a break from what he normally does. So I'm really not expecting either of them to be there. So let me formulate a plan and I will come back to attack. Okay, we've switched over to my phone. And let's start with this Talzin battle. We're going to go Bastila. 
Ezra and Kanan. This is a little bit risky because if that initiate lands the buff immunity, then I can't give the buffs. If, if she puts it on Ezra, I can't give the buffs to Ezra. If she puts it on Kanan, then Kanan can't taunt. So, a little bit of a risk, but I don't think a huge one. All right, here we go. taunt and we'll go right after well this is Talia not initiate huh I'm thinking of the wrong squad okay so this is not such a big risk the protection up I get a big tenacity boost and that prevents the plague. That's why this is such a good counter to this Night Sister squad. We have a tenacity down there, which could be a problem. Get rid of Talzin. And there we go, 54 banners. Against this Jedi Revan, I kind of want to save my own Revan just in case there's something in the back, but I really don't expect there to be. I could go Padme here. Let's do that, let's go Padme. Anakin. Snips. Okay, that's Savior triggered. Snips is a little bit worrying because she is not relic like the other two. Okay, he's gone. This should do it for her. Oh, not quite. There we go. 52 banners. Okay, what do I want to do with this Hoggle squad? Hoggle B2 Droidica. Hmm. I think maybe I take my CLS and I try and get rid of Droidica right off the bat. There's no Taunter, right? So... Focus down Droidica before Droidica can get the uh, get the damage immunity. We'll give it a try. Okay, Droidica's gone. Go after B2 now. Now Poggle. One more hit should do it. 54 banners. Perfect. Alright, let's see what's awaiting us in the back zone. Okay, there's our Bastila with Yoda and Jolie. We've got Ewoks, we've got Crew, and we've got Phoenix. All right, we're going to go after this Bastila squad, and we're going to take in Jedi Revan and GMY. Do I need Old Ben? 
probably don't need old men, but I'll take him anyhow. Okay, we'll mark Yoda. No point in trying to do the wave when they've got tenacity. Chewing right through old Ben. Suppose that's better than chewing through someone else, though. This. And let's steal those buffs and give them to everybody. You know what? I'm thinking about proccing Savior, and I don't have to. I should be going right after Jolie. Oh, it's just force of habit, right? You try and proc Savior first, and then you go after Jolie? There's no Savior to be procced. Oh my goodness. So that was... Uh, that was just force of habit. do have savior, so ha. Go ahead and hit old Ben one more time, please. I'll do a basic here. to recover any banners okay well tactical mistake there but didn't end up really costing me too much 51 banners uh, let's go after these Ewoks with our usual nest and hermit Yoda no elder to worry about here so let's take out wicket first some chirpa good counterattacking keep counterattacking please Thank you. Uh, let's do days. The foresight. Yeah. All right. Can avoid the taunt. Counter attack. Counter attack. Counter attack. Uh, heal. And get rid of wickets. Yo. Get rid of Chirpa. Big heal. Phase. Heal. And bye bye. 53 banners. Okay, against this Phoenix squad, probably just do a Wampa solo, but I'm going to take in Candorous as well. There's no leadership here, but they have good dot synergy. Days. And let's get rid of Kanan. Well, how bad would this be if this doesn't work? Okay, there we 
go. Now they shouldn't counterattack so often. I think the dots will kill her. Ooh, they didn't. Alright, well, let's get rid of her. Zeb, zeb, zeb. That should do it. Okay, 53 banners. And against First Order, we're going to take our Jedi Training Ray. Resistance, okay. Wiggle and wave. And see if we can get the stun here. No. Oh, that's not nice. Let's get rid of this guy as quickly as possible. Um, let's see if we can stun. No. Wiggle. This should do it. Almost. Wave that off. Well, this is a much tougher squad than it looked. It must be very well modded. My R2 is almost dead. I don't like that. Don't do that. Uh, let's hide R2. Wave this guy down. Stun. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can burn. Wiggle. Wave. Illuminated Destiny. Let's see if we can stun. Nice. Healing immunity, excellent. This should do it. All right, not pretty. 50 banners. It's so weird. Sometimes that battle goes so easily and you control them and they do nothing to you. And sometimes they surprise you. I mean, that was with a Gear 9 Kylo. So it must be well modded. All right, up here. What are we going to do up here? I think we're going to go Palpatine here. And Stun. Zap. And stun. And we need to get rid of Daka first. Let's do Fear. Her. Excellent. Uh, just do basic. Zap. Zap. Stun. Zap. 54 banners. Okay. What to do, what to do, what to do. Let's see. I have got my triumvirate. At Darth Revan. So, I don't know which one to do where. We'll do Darth Revan here, I guess. We'll go Darth Revan. Oh, bye bye. that. Laugh at that. 54 banners. Okay, and Django, IG, and Zam. We'll go Triumvirate. Got a lot left that I could do. I could do Shock Troopers. 
I could do the Kylos. Hmm. I could do Talzin. I could do Geos. All right, well, let's just do this. Stupid bombs. Increase cooldowns. Who to isolate? We'll isolate uh, Django, I guess. Idiot's the squishiest. The well, Zam's pretty squishy too. We should get rid of eighty-eight. is a definite banner stealer. This should keep him from resurrecting. Beautiful. And 52 banners. All squads cleared. Just have to do the fleet. We've got Tarkin and Bugs. We'll take our negotiator squad. Back. Uh, rough immunity. Let's see if we can get breach. Excellent. Big hit. We should get rid of Sunfac. See if we can get rid of Spy. Okay. And we'll go after Soldier. And now Maul. Sixty banners. I have a six-star negotiator, so I automatically lose four banners. So that would be a sixty-four if I had a seven-star negotiator. I'm almost there. Okay. So twenty-three hundred even. Not my best score, but pretty good. I think that puts the pressure on Jay Walker. We'll come back tomorrow and see how he does. All right, we're down to about three minutes remaining. Let's take a look at what Jay Walker has done. Okay, cleared one zone. We've got one shot against Newt, one shot against the Night Sisters, and three to take out Malik. The other two zones are full. No attempts in the back. And no attempts up top. So Jay Walker realized that he couldn't win after losing those battles to Malik and just decided to give up. So it's a little disappointing. I like to see how my defenses hold up. So it would have been nice if he had attacked other zones he also could have gotten some banners you know just because you lose doesn't mean that you can't still get some banners and help yourself get to kyber all right well thank you to jay walker for the match and thank you all for watching i'll see you next time